What's good? It's all right, Pico. I know you love me, dog. You do me a, a lot of a lot of people would do me, so you ain't got to worry about it. What's good? Yeah, right. Whoever the retard that sucking said the, the the weed maps was gonna end the black market is fucking stupid. I've I've been smoking weed for fuck, man. I don't know how many years. I know this shit sticks in there. Uh I don't know, probably fucking twenty years. I've been smoking weed every day. And I haven't once went on fucking weed maps to get a sack. Not once, man. You know what I mean? Not once. So I don't get the whole, uh, I just don't understand it. You know what I mean? I want to know who sent it. Maybe if I, if I DM the blacklist, maybe, maybe they'll tell, maybe they tell me who sent that so we can laugh at them. What is it called? What kind of comedy is it when you when you when you make jokes about somebody else and laugh at them? Satire. Maybe we'll get some satire comedy out of fucking the dude who thinks that uh, weed map controls the black market. Ooh. Yeah, tired and shit. Fuck, I'd never work at Lowe's. Estimate it. If if for real estimate profit, if I if I, if I had to quit growing weed, I would literally just create my own consulting company again and just go back to work consulting for PCs and networks and stuff and only do high end shit. I already have I already have a couple companies that uh still to this day want me to do their computers and shit. Cause I'm a no, I'm a, I'm a no nonsense motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's why VCA loved me. I'll go straight in there and tell them they, they're fucking up. You know what I mean? Businesses love my type of personality. Yeah, I got two degrees in, in information. I got information system. And then cybersecurity. I got the two-year degree, and then I went back. Look at another. I went. To, I got the two-year degree, and then I went back and got a fucking bachelor's. <clears throat> but yeah, I got. I got a fucking degree. Oregon, come on, bro. How do you think I know so much about computers? I mean, I started building computers when I was like seven, bro. You could literally ask me any fucking computer question and I could probably answer it. Like any fucking computer question.
I'm gonna have to smoke that in first. It's got a fat ass. Look at the stem. You see it? Look at that. Fucking Cali Outdoor fail. Fucking fail! What'd Jay want? So I wanted to discuss IPM today. I think it's it's one of the one of the good topics for people. We're gonna go ahead and smoke that motherfucker first. That side. Well, an algorithm is just a set a set way of doing looking at something, bro. I'm not sure if I should just fucking smoke that in or what. I'm going to smoke that in. Of course he is, King. Your computer has algorithms all over it, man. There's actually errors that happen all the time on computers and networks. And there's actually algorithms that are designed to run in the protocols that will fix errors on the fly. We're gonna fucking smoke that side first and tap it. Get that little stem, get that shit out of there. Oh shit, I done fucked up. I don't know why I put that on my trim tray. Or on my brain, that's all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm fucking up today, dog. Cali Outdoors fucking up today, y'all. Go ahead and fucking screenshot me fucking up. I don't put it. I don't put a cherry out on my on my fucking breakup tray. We should do a computer. We should do a computer live one day. Uh. No, 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 no. Horrible. So let's go over IPM. Might as well. Anybody want to uh, hear my IPM? Somebody wants to go live. Concrete guy, you want to go live? Should we, should we do IPM or should we just do computer talk? Well, yeah, Oregon, but I'm going to talk about different types of predator mice. As a matter of fact, let me bring up the different types of predator mice because I, I know what they do, but I can never remember their names. But if I read their names, I would know. IPM. All right. All right. So for IPM, I suggest the number one thing is healthy fucking plants. Okay. And what do I mean? What makes a healthy plant? A non root bound plant, a plant that's not overfed or underfed. A plant that uh, has ample amount of light and ample amount of air movement. A plant that sits in an area that has the right environment for it. Okay? This is all part of IPM. You can't just fucking let a plant get root bound completely, set it in the corner of a room with the 54 watt, you know, curly Q bulb over it. And the fucking thing be four foot tall and expect it not to get PM. So your number one thing is environment, people. Plant health. Huge on IPM. If you don't keep a clean room. And what I mean by clean, I know there's dirt and shit that's in the room. You're fucking growing in dirt a lot of the times. You're growing in cocoa or some type of fucking media. 
What I mean by that is your moms have to be clean, your clones have to be clean, your teens have to be clean, everything has to be clean and fucking healthy. If you, if you put a plant in an unhealthy environment, if you put a plant in an unhealthy food regimen or don't feed it correctly <coughs> or burn it or do all types of fucked up things, this is when your plant is susceptible to not only uh, uh, hosting pests, but, but getting PM and other things as well, which is also a pest, mind you. And when we talk about pesticides, people, let's be clear. A pesticide is anything that you spray, anything that you use to kill a, a, a pest, whether it be a, 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 a fungus or a, a bug or, or, you know, anything that is a pest, and you use something, a form of something to kill it, whether it's soap and water, just straight water. Like if you have a bunch of spider mites and you literally take the plant outside and you spray the fuck out of it with just straight water just to wash the fucking uh, bugs off, that's a, that's, a, that's a fucking, that's a pesticide. They're all pests. They're, being, they're all pests. They're all pests. A fungus is a pest in a garden. Trust that. They're all pests. We're going to look up the... De- I would like to look up the dictionary definition of pesticide. <coughs> Here you go. Pesticide. You want Pesticide. A substance used for destroying insects and other organisms, including fungi. Any organism. A fungus is an organism. Okay. A pathogen pathogen is an organism. A substance used for destroying insects or other organisms harmful to cultivated plants or to animals. So anything you spray on PM is a pesticide. Anything you spray on uh, for butter rot is a pesticide. Anything you spray to kill a bug or some type of organism is a fucking pesticide. Salt can be a pesticide. High pH water can be a pesticide. Okay? So when people say they don't spray pesticides, they're lying to you. It's facts. By dictionary definition. Now, when you talk about pesticides, this is an an umbrella term for multiple sub-pesticides. Those sub-pesticides are insecticides, herbicides, rodenticides, bactericides, fungicides, and larvicides. It's all right here. I'm reading it off of a fucking... Literally a goddamn university page. So I don't want to hear about it. There are pesticides. And then underneath them, there are forms of pesticides. Insecticides for insects. Herbicides for weeds and other things that you don't want in the garden. Rodenticides for rats, mice. uh, 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 What's the Voles, moles. Bactericides for for harmful bacteria. Fungicides or antimycotics is another word. Larvicide. But they are all pesticides. Okay? What do I use? <coughs> I don't use anything, period, besides a pesticide. Again, where we're talking about pesticide, a substance used. So if you are not using a substance, if you are using another animal, it is not a pesticide. Although it is part of an integrated pest management system. 
Does this make sense? So it's not a substance. Therefore, using beneficial mites is not a pesticide. Although it is part of an integrated pest control management system. Are we all following along here? It's very simple, people. There's, there's facts and there's fiction. Okay. So, if someone says they do not spray pesticides, they only spray neem or something like that, they're retarded. They're dumb. They're stupid. They are incorrect. If they're using beneficial mites, they are not technically using a pesticide, although it is part of an IPM system. Depends on what you're using water for, Big Chris. If you're using it to just just literally uh, uh, wash off mites, it's an insecticide. <clears throat> so, on my IPM, this is word for word what I do, step by step what I do. In my mother room and in my flower room, I release mites at the exact same time every single time. On week one of flower, I release mites, okay? So that means as soon as I flip the actual IPM is integrated pest management. That's exactly what I've been saying. It is part of an integrated pest management. IPM. It's an acronym, people. IPM, integrated pest management. Same fucking thing. People like to use IPM because they like to sound fucking smart. So I release bugs in my mom room and in my flower room the same time but I time it of week, day one, a flower. As soon as I flip the lights, I release hella predator mites in my mom room and in my flower room. It costs about $340, I think. Matter of fact, I can tell you, I got natural enemies up right now. I'll tell you exactly how much it costs, okay? going to cost you $110 for 24,000 uh, Californiscus mites. Those are the ones I use for spider mites. It's 110 bucks. And the Swirskis is 116 bucks. So it's 200 and $16, and I think they had $20 shipping. So it's $236 every run for 100 plants, give or take. I'm releasing mites. Fuck yes, they're live. I don't recommend using the satchels at all unless you're using them in a mom room. And the reason for that is I've talked to the people who make these fucking things. And the satchels are actually predator mite eggs, okay? They don't all hatch at the same time. Normally, it's one or two mites a day, and it's over a long period of time. In cannabis, flowering cannabis, you can only use mites in vegetative state, and then up to about three, week three, maybe week four of flower. That's it. After week four of flower, if you have bugs, you're a shithead grower. Okay? Be kick. Because this is the way that I emphasize shit and I make words. If you don't like it, suck a dick, move on, go do something else, bro. If you have bugs, week four, you're a shithead grower. All of it does, Kit. All of it does. Food, 
my water bill, everything gets uh, calculated. 300 and something dollars for mites is dick to 100 plants. If you can't spend 300 and fucking $26 or whatever the fuck it is, or 200 and something dollars, say it's just 300 bucks. If you can't spend a fucking $300 every fucking time to make sure you don't have to spray fucking bullshit on your plants, you're a piece of shit. <clears throat> yeah, if you're if you don't have bugs, then you're doing all right. Brody, you don't understand growing, Brody. Sorry to under, to, under to, to explain it to you. These things can come in on flies. These things can come in on shoes. These things can come in on the back hand of your fucking arm. They come in all types of ways. Just to say you're indoor and you shouldn't have pets is pretty fucking stupid. No, finger. I just don't spray pesticides at all. Like... The the, 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 the the trick here is to not spray anything on the shit that you're about to smoke, dog. You guys know what in hurt means? Let's let's do some other fucking some education here. Does everybody know what in hurt means? Or inert. Anybody? When it says inert. When it says on the back of the fucking uh, bottle that you're spraying, when it says 70% inert, do you know what it means? No. Doesn't mean water. Exactly, clerk. Inactive. Chemically inactive. It means it's a filler, people. A filler. Okay? It's like when you're broke as fuck and you're wanting to have meatloaf and your mom puts in bread in the meatloaf because she can't afford all the fucking food. I mean, all the meat. That's in her. It's a filler, folks. Carzy. Bro, I can guarantee that everything that I'm telling you is 100% facts. Guarantee it. No, it doesn't mean water. It could be clay, terpene. It can be it can be literally uh, uh, baking soda. It could be anything. It means that it is not chemically active in the compound. It means it doesn't do anything for the plant thing. That's not what it means. Is water? That's, exactly. It's a cut. It's like having one hundred percent cocaine and then they cut it half. So now you have 50% cocaine and 50% something else for you dum-dums that are crackheads out there. Doesn't have to be liquid. It could be powder. And what I mean by this is if you look on the back of like uh, uh, Mycos and Azos, bro, and that's 99% clay. Look at the back of... Uh, Azos and Mycos. It's like 95% clay or something done. Carnegie don't even grow weed. Trying to tell me how to grow weed. Carnegie, until you can go live and show me something that you've grown that can grow outgrow what I, what I grow, then just sit the fuck down. Basically, dog, is what we're saying. Nobody gives a fuck. Piece of idiot. Like, you're really, you're really a fucking idiot. So, in these pesticides, there's normally a bacteria, in the, in the decent pesticides, I will say. In the ones that I'm okay, I guess, if you have to spray them. Like Venerate, or Grandivo, or um, uh, BT, or something like that. Like, it's bacteria, and then there's other shit with it. What chemicals I use? What is in the what's in the uh, salts that I use?
Like, let me tell you exactly which ones I'm using right now. I can tell you. Uh, just for core ingredients. Let's see if we can find it. If it'll tell us. Oh, this picture is not good enough. Let's see if the picture. Oh, it's not good enough. I can't. I can't. I can't zoom in. Oh, maybe it's gonna. Here it goes. Nope. No, I can't. I can't tell you all the fucking chemicals I use off offhand that are uh, uh, used in the salts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, what I'm point, what I'm saying is, is yes, the bacteria itself is probably okay to smoke or actually burn, but I'm not necessarily sure inhaling clay or inhaling some form of a, a, an oil or some form of uh, what else do they use? That's uh, it makes it so it covers the leaf. I forget the fucking technical term for right now for it. Um, Fuck, man. Like cocoa wet. What is cocoa wet? It does something. I forget the fucking term, man. I'm high now. Fuck! It's a... Uh, uh... Oh, my God. What is cocoa wet known as? Somebody knows. No, I wouldn't run our juice outside. Wedding agent, but it's not a wedding agent. That's not the term. That's not the term I'm looking for. It's a surfactant. I don't, I'm not necessarily sure smoking surfactants is healthy. That's the term. Surfactant. Okay, I'm not sure that smoking some form of a surfactant that you spray onto your plant and then combust has ever been tested to be safe. Okay. That's why I don't spray in flour. I don't have a problem with people that spray in veg. You know, I don't have a problem with people that spray in veg. If you want to spray in veg and that plant material that you're inhaling is no longer even part of the, of the tissue that was down there, whenever you're spraying your neem or whatever you're doing in veg, if you want to do all that, fine. But when the, flour, when the plant comes into flour, you should not be spraying that fucker with surfactants. What the fuck are you smoking? Dawn soap? Dawn soap OG. Some of these people be putting a table, a teaspoon of soap. Yeah, dog. I want to smoke Dawn soap. Week four, dog. I have a little bit of mite issue. Going to spray some of this. Put a little Dawn in it. Make sure it covers it good. I'm good, bro. I'm not smoking none of that shit. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. There's a difference. I'm not sure smoking Dawn is necessarily health, healthy for you. Like, let's, uh, let's look up Dawn. Can we look up Dawn or any... Let's look up Cocoa Wet because it's got some funny ones too. Let's see what Cocoa Wet says. I know it's some funny fuckers in there, boy. Let's see if we can find an image of it that, that'll let us see it. I can't pronounce it. I'm fucking hillbilly. If I can't pronounce it, I don't give a fuck. I'm not spraying it. You know what I mean? Uh, these fucking logos. They don't fucking show the... Uh, It's like they don't want to show you what's in it. This is. Look at right here. Look, you fucks using cocoa wet. It's got metals and shit. This shit has metals in it, and you motherfuckers are spraying it.
Yeah, fuck off. <clears throat> I bet I bet a lot of you motherfuckers use that one too. Fuck off. I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to smoke some metals or whatever that shit is. It's got metals in it. It's got metals in it. I guarantee it. I want to find what's actually in it. I'm going to find what's actually in it. It says organic. Shit ain't organic. You smoking that shit. You guys are smoking it. <clears throat> no, no, it doesn't say it causes cancer. It says information regarding contents and levels of metals in this product. Let's go see the metals. Let's go see if we can look it up. Let's go see the metals that are actually in. Yeah, all you guys thinking I'm still fucking crazy? Watch, we'll find it. I already know all this shit's fucking tainted. You guys are spraying this shit. It's tainted. It's A-A-P-L-C-O dot org slash metals. dot htm what do you mean it can't be reached these fuckers are lying to us now let me make sure I put the right yeah no you can't even be reached let me make sure I'm spelling it right A A P yeah that's it fucked up what I'm telling you is this, I don't spray none of that shit on my plants. And if you want to know how to do it, use mites. Because by week three, when the, when the, when the bud sets anyways, these mites are nowhere to be seen. I've scoped them. I've, I've fucking tried to find them after three weeks. They're nowhere to be found. I can't find a mite. After three weeks, if, if you've put mites on plants, after three weeks, if they're still there, then there's, there's a population of bad mites. If you've, if you've, uh, uh, Put, put predator mites out and you still have mites three weeks later, there's there's bad mites still around. But Pico, I'm telling you, if you have spider mites and you release those Californisis mites, you will no longer have spider mites. You will no longer have them. They will they will be they will be annihilated, bro. You will no longer have spider mites on those plants that you put those on. I can guarantee you. If you put healthy uh, Californiscus plants or whatever the fuck they're called. I'll show you the ones I'm talking about. That way everybody says, oh, you can't spell or whatever. Can't say it. I don't give a fuck. I know which ones work. These ones right here. You guys try to fucking, fucking say it. These are the ones. Let's see if they have the, uh, they got a little thing on how to use them too. trip out. Let's see what it says or what it shows. Yeah, look. You just sprinkle them. Whatever plants those are, those are fucked up. You could get one of these things. This is overkill. Look at this guy. Fire. Those are the ones. If you got spider mites, gone. Guarantee you. I guarantee you. If you have a spider mite issue and you release enough of those... Done. Over with. Annihilate it. You don't even have to spray. Just let let those motherfuckers loose, dog. Especially in veg mode. They're easy. 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 You will annihilate all spider mites. That's what I was just saying. I was just saying the amount. So for like general... 
in my opinion, like I release every time is 25,000 of those. And you can get away with, with, with using a little bit less if all the plants are con, con, uh, touching each other or contacting each other. Like if you have leaves, this plant has these leaves because these fucking things will hunt them down. Like you can have mites over here and you release them over here and the fucking mites will walk all the way across and find those motherfuckers like wolves and fuck them off. No, they don't, Bkeck. You're an idiot. Dog, they're survivalists. If there's no bugs on your plant, they're not going to stay on your plant. They leave the plant, literally. Fuck yeah, I'd use them every run. If you could afford it, every run. If you can, if you can incorporate it into your IPM, you don't have to mask up. People, this is what you're eliminating. You're eliminating masking up. You're eliminating having to run a fucking paint spray or all these fucking chemicals and shit that you're having all these fucking, a special area and all that shit to put. You can keep a fucking predator mite anywhere. They don't give a fuck where these things sit. <clears throat> If you can incorporate it into your fucking thing and stop spraying, I'm telling you, the quality of weed will go up. I'm telling you. And you won't have to mask up and have to deal with all this shit. It works outdoors if you have higher humidity, damn. If you have below 40% humidity, good fucking luck. Because about the only thing that survives, it seems like, is spider mites out in that. But indoors, if you have an issue, fuck it, bro. I would, like, there's no better way. The persimilis ones will. Yeah. They, they literally, are, it's, it's literally the best way to deal with, the, in, in my opinion, even maintenance, it's the best way to go. Well, Zachary, ideally from my research and from what I've read, I've never tried it, but you can uh, put in your room what are called banker plants, okay, which means a plant that also can host these mites. Some of these mites will actually eat like uh, forms of pollen and stuff to survive. So as long as you keep these plants around, you can keep the mites around. My thing that I don't like about that is... Uh, is you might have mites, you know, lurking around looking for food on plants if you have a place for them to survive, if that makes sense. I heard cat pollen. Sin, that Sin Angel guy told me cat pollen, pollen is what they use. But I personally don't, you know, indoors to me it's not a big deal. I'd rather just budget, again, we're talking about actual business and budgeting here. I'd rather just budget into the fucking IPM uh, budget that I'm going to be using so much money on predator mites every single time. That way my cost per pound is for food and all that shit. It's already incorporated. Who knows how much? I don't even know, but I can guarantee in like, it's just, it's to, to me, it's it, you don't have to mask up. You're not spraying. You're a liquid all over the place. Fucking, it's just a mess, man. Yeah, cattail. Yeah, I just release every at uh, the same time. Week one, my my veg plants get them and my flowering, but I time it on my flowering. If that makes sense. I time it, so I put in. I always go on the first week when I flip because that gives three weeks before there's bud set. There should be no more mites during then. And my bud set is happening now and I shouldn't have to spray anything for the rest of the time because I'm not introducing mites anymore. Does that make sense? Like there's no, there should be no mites. If you're spraying and you keep going in there every other day and you start seeing mites everywhere and you're spraying and it's like week three or four, you're never getting rid of those mites. You're not going to get rid of those mites. If you, cause there's just, just, there's too many places for these things to hide, man. I've seen spider mites that, that, that literally crawl into fucking, uh, the PVC pipe. They'll crawl underneath the pots to get away from sprays and stuff like that. 
Whereas the predator mites will hunt those motherfuckers down. If they're under the pot, on top of the pot, on the left of the pot, on the right of the pot, it doesn't matter. The fucking predator mites sense these fucking things and they will, they will fucking find them. So as you think when you're spraying, oh, I'm spraying, bro, I spray every three days, spray every three days. But in your head, you're not, you're lying to yourself. You're not lying to yourself. You're spraying every three days. But in your head, you know, you keep seeing little fucking bite marks popping up everywhere in your room. You've never gotten rid of it. So now the dumb dumb, oh, it's week four fucking, I'm going to stop spraying, bro. I just ride it out. Week four to week eight, those mites can literally fucking web up. I've seen it. Not just in my garden, in other people's gardens. As I've learned over the years, I've had these issues. So, trust me. You, you're fucking, I'm spraying, bros. Venerate Grand Tifo. Those mites, those mites by three, week three, four in the flower are bathing in that shit like it's fucking bath water. They don't give a fuck. All those back tears and shit. Motherfucker, all you did was create a mic that's 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 immune to grand evil and venerate. That's all you did. All you did. And then when you wonder why there's actually uh, uh, people that that sell a product that that vacuum off the mites and shit, that's because people do that shit. People actually do that shit. It's fucking annoying and, and, and these people need to be kicked away and, and never to be fucked with. Man, it's one thing to get mites or have an issue. There's a whole nother thing about being honest about it and having, what's that guy's, the, uh, the guy has the one, have integrity or integrity about what the fuck you're doing. You may not grow the best weed or whatever, but at least it's clean. At least it's not going to fucking hurt somebody. And at least you're not being a dickhead and fucking sucking mites off with a fucking uh, 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 a shop vac week fucking 10 right before you cut. The funny thing is, is those people are idiots because they've never even fucking like paid attention. Like if you pay attention, if you have mites on a plant and you cut it, and you flip it upside down, the mites actually leave the plant. They're not dumbs either. It's just like the predator mites. If there's no mites on this fucking plant, why am I staying here? I'm going to leave the plant. The mites are so smart. When you cut the plant and you flip it over, they'll leave the plant anyways. They're out that bitch. This motherfucker's dying. I got to be on to the next. So I, I've seen this shit. I know this shit because I've dealt with this shit. I've had all of these issues. I've been growing for a long fucking time. And I'm just telling you. This is the best way. It's the best way. When you cut a plant, it has mites, flip it over. You ever notice what happens? All the mites take off and go up the plant. They just... You'll go up, you'll come in and two days later and shine a flashlight, checking on your bud, and there's webs and shit all up on your trellis that you're hanging on. It's fucking amazing. And the other mites are the same way. There's no food there. They're leaving. They're not dumb. They're not like the motherfuckers in the desert trying to ship in food, dog. You know what I mean? No, spider mates laid their eggs underneath the leaves, bro. And they lay them. This is the thing. This is what another people don't understand. When you're spraying these fucking sprays, if you ever looked at a leaf, like a spider mite egg is so small. Like an egg normally, the fucking smart ones will lay their fucking eggs up underneath the veins. Like I've scoped it and seen it where these fucking mites will lay their eggs. They're not dumb. They will fucking lay their eggs literally on the inside of an arch of a vein that runs down the side of the fucking uh, leaf. So that the only way that motherfucker is even getting sprayed is like if you turn the fucking leaf over and spray the whole leaf and, and then cut it back down. When, when you're spraying... Everybody tries to be 100%, but you're never 100%. Trust me, these, these things, that's why the predator mites are so fucking ideal because they will hunt those down. They'll walk up and down the side of that fucking leaf looking for the fucking eggs and eat the eggs too. They eat the eggs, the larva, and the adults. All three stages. Fuck them off. A lot of these things only fuck off the things when they're in their larvae, or their uh, egg stage, or I mean adult stage. Never fuck with the eggs. If you've ever noticed, pay attention, people, what you buy. 
A lot of these things only affect either the larva stage or the adult stage. They never fuck with the age stage. The predator mites, fuck all three off. They'll eat the eggs, they'll eat the larva, they'll eat the fucking mite. Done. It's that simple. Yeah, if you get a clone, that's another thing. I don't mind if you get a clone and you want to dunk it in something that's, you know, pretty heavy just to get rid of anything and then put it over on the shelf for a fucking month. I don't give a fuck if people do that. Yeah, Z3, it seems to me now that I've gotten rid of the, and I release, it, they, they just don't come back. They, can, they don't have an opportunity to come back. Yeah, St. Bernard's, you're not, uh, uh, oils can actually cause stoma, clog stoma, and when you clog a stoma, you're actually like suffocating a plant with some of these sprays. They can actually clog stomas, which is how your plant fucking breathes and takes in oxygen and exposes back out. Uh, I mean, uh, takes in carbon dioxide and pushes back out oxygen. So you're you're suffocating your plant with a lot of these sprays. I don't fuck with it. I, I'm telling you, man. If you break it down scientifically of how, like, why the pros and cons. There's so many pros for the for the for running predator mites. I don't even if they took a shit on my on my bud, and I I, I know they don't. But even if they took a shit somewhere on my bud, I'm smoking the mite poop. I'm smoking it. Yeah, well, Z3. See, that's another that's that's a that's an interesting topic because that's the topic that fucking kind of deboggles my mind. It's like I went to the fucking lab, right? And these lab guys were telling me that they're trying to work with these farms on when they can and can't spray chemicals so that they'll pass on the test. Now, this is my thing. People are going to get on me and say, oh, he's an Eagle 20 user or whatever. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you brought in a clone from somebody else's spot, like say you it's some sought after, you're looking for the original Sour D or some fucking thing you've been looking for for 30 years. And this is not me because I really don't give a fuck. I'm on to the next hype anyways. But if you're one of these guys and you happen to find this cut finally and it's got PM or whatever and you want to dunk it and fucking either Eagle 20 or fucking Avid and then put it off to the side for a fucking two or three weeks, I personally don't have a problem with it. Uh, but I don't do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. But if you bring in something from the outside and you're not going to run it and you're not going to run it for fucking 90 days plus and you want to dunk it in something like that and it's only this big, I don't, get a, I don't got a problem with it. But don't definitely don't be spraying that shit. I don't even have Eagle. I don't have a need for it. My, my environment is too good. You really don't get PM in good environment. To be honest with you. I mean, that's the key. The key to not getting PM, I don't even spray for it. Because the key to not getting PM is having a hundred percent good environment and having healthy fucking plants. If you have good environment, healthy plants, no PM. Never seen it. I never walked into a good room, okay, that was plucked correctly and all that type of shit and seen PM. I really have never seen it. I've never walked into a room that was taken care of correctly and seen PM. Straight up, I've never walked into a healthy environment where the, the, the I didn't walk in, it was nighttime and 90 degree humidity or something like that, or the, the plants are just way too fucking uh, crowded and fucking, they never plucked and that type of shit. I've never walked into a fucking uh, a grow that had ideal climate, ideal fucking uh, uh, health of plants and seen PM. Never. It's always an issue. The, and the person will be honest with you, man, my fucking DHUM went out for fucking four days. I had to ship it off. I got it back. My, my, my humidity went to 90% for fucking four days straight. And then a week later, you see PM. You got PM when the, when the DHUM went out. 
you got PM when the DHEM went out and your fucking and your humidity was spiking to ninety percent at night for four days straight. That's when you got PM, and then a week later is when you actually saw the fucking little fuzz and stuff, you know. And this this is really how it happens. It's it it doesn't happen any other way unless you get an infected cut. That's why I say if you're taking a single cut, if you get a single cut from someone and you're just wanting to mom it out and grow it later on, and you just want to make sure it's not going to fuck off your garden because you really am not sure about that person, which that's why I don't fuck with those people anyways. Uh, you know, do what you got to do, man. I just don't fuck with bad people. I just don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with liars. I don't fuck with none of that shit. If it's got thrips or it's got mites or something, just tell me about it. That way I can deal with the shit. The worst is knowing they have them and then you pass them off like, yeah, bro. Shit's fine, bro. No problems at all. Those are clean, bro. And then you take them over to your fucking spot and three weeks later everything has PM. You know? It's fine, bro. Not a big deal, bro. These are clean. He's been spraying some type of patchouli oil to begin with and not killing it. Or if you get a cut, here's a trick. Now you may just die. You may just kill the cut, but that's that's fine. I'd rather honestly, this is what I would do if I if it was during the summer months. If it was during the summer months and I got a plant, I just put it outside. Here, PM's not gonna happen. Even if it has PM, it's gonna kill that so fast. PM does not like UV. So if you have a small plant, you put it underneath the sun, a couple days, that, that shit's destroyed. Done for. So you can also do that during the summer. Like if you got a cut and you didn't you weren't sure. If you have, like, it's summertime and you can put it outside and, and then spray it with something else for the bugs, PM's not going to last. If it's high sun, like 80, 89, 90, 95 degrees all in there, done. It's going to kill it. The feral, well, I've seen, I haven't, I don't know, I'm sure I've seen viruses happen. I've had, I've had a couple weird things that have happened to me over the years. Like I've gotten rust, uh, rust fungus. If anybody knows what that is, I had rust fungus like four years ago. I thought it was a deficiency for sure. Nope. It's some type of fungus that will literally just make your plant just disintegrate itself. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've dealt with, you know, I, well, I'm not pretty sure. I know I've dealt with dampening. And a, and, a, and a cut just uh, getting uh, root rot and just dying on me and that type of stuff. But as far as the pests go, I've only really dealt with russets, spider mites, PM. And this is over the years. I never have, have had uh, root aphids. I've had, oh, fung fungus gnats. That's why I don't fuck with uh, organic inside people. I actually like organically grown weed. I can't lie. I like, trust me, I, I get it. I like organically grown weed. The bud structure is a little different when you grow organically. Um, at least the cuts that I grow. If I grow organically versus salt, the salt is has a completely different bud structure than when I grow it somewhat organically. The problem is those motherfucking fungus gnats, man. <clears throat> and I can't stand them. I can't stand them. So I would rather run cocoa with salts indoors because I do not want to deal with fungus gnats. And I, you can say nematodes and all this shit. And I, yes, I'm just telling you. It seems like whenever I have organic inputs in peat, indoors, fungus gnats are coming. <clears throat> They're coming. It's not a matter of when. It's just a matter of, I mean, it's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when. We can get rid of them, Z3. You just got to be spraying that. I mean, you got to be uh, using that cedar oil and all that shit. Like, I'm not trying to use none of that shit. Yeah, so and they'll, and they'll come quick. In a week, week and a half, you you saw one or two gnats. All of a sudden, they're on the walls and shit. You're going, what the fuck happened? You you happen to tap a pot. It seems like they're having a fucking uh, smorgasbord. 
That's why I just run cocoa and salts indoor people. It doesn't, I find it's, 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 it for me, I'd rather work with something than work against it. <clears throat> and for me, when I run cocoa and salts, I just don't have fungus nests. They just don't come around. It's, there's nothing there for them. It's an inert thing and I'm feeding chemicals. The, the, the fungus nests have nothing to survive on, literally. So they just don't come. When you get fungus gnats like Ben Baller had, Ben Baller had fungus gnats in rock wool. That's hard to do, people. In my opinion, that has to be hard to do. Huh? How the fuck do you get fungus gnats with rock wool? Think about that. Think about that. I'm high now. <clears throat> this motherfucker got fungus gnats with rock wool. That's hard to do. That's like really fucking up. There's like there's like backing into somebody or something when you when you when you when you're driving or something, you happen to tap somebody or something with your back of your bumper or something, and then there's all out just fucking pushing the gas and not the brake type shit and just blowing out and this guy right here. Yeah, it's 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 the mold and it's not only that, it's the it's the it's the uh it's the night. It's the algae. I think they eat the algae. Huh? That's the only thing that I know, Swan, that they could eat. Maybe it's the it's the the algae that those gnats are fucking eating. I don't know, man. <clears throat> Hard to do. Hard to do. It's those those LEDs are just feeding. He's growing more. Algae. He's growing better algae than he is weed and shit. Actually, all bullshit aside, the weed didn't look too bad. It's just there was nothing, you know? But the weed itself didn't look horrible. It looked a lot better than some of these fucking haters that come on here. That guy CM Kings or whatever, this guy's weed was trash. The the weed itself didn't look too bad. The uh the the amount though, that shit was sub half half a pound of light. That was sub half a pound of light for sure. The weed looked pretty good. And it's swollen. I was like, damn, this shit looks good, but where is it? You only got like three tops. The rest of that shit is bullshit. All of his nugs. He's going to have a whole bunch of these type of shits in there. People, That's another thing that people don't realize. When you grow, it looks huge. Fucking amen. Sometimes I'll grow. I think, man, these fucking big ass buds. And then you you set that shit uh, drying for fucking four or five days and come back in the room and you're like, all right, maybe it is only a pound and a half. <laughs> I think for sure I hit two on my sweeties this time. I think for sure, but I know I didn't. It's going to be like 1.85, 1.9. Fucking dicks. You know what I mean? Pico, I go, I'm running right now. I'm running it just for core, but I, I don't like it. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend like house and garden or canna probably. Why? Why? That person doesn't, doesn't do anything. The page is literally just a fucking news agency. I've talked to them. They're they're like a new agency. It's not one person. It's not a face. There's like there's a bunch of people behind it. It's like a news thing. One person doesn't run a website and all that shit, dog. They've tried to interview me. They're gonna kick me off in twenty seconds. All right, y'all have a good one. We did a little, little, little mite, little bug talk. Peace, peace.